Hi, everyone. Good morning. I hope that you can hear me okay. I am trying a new setup um, as I get more comfortable teaching virtual yoga. We're working through the kink, so I have a little mic today. Um, I'm recording on my phone instead of my laptop, so hopefully the quality is a little bit better. And I'm excited to get into it. So for those of you who are joining for the first time, my name is Kathleen. I am a yoga teacher, a nutritionist, a health coach, and a theta healer. And this is mindful movement. The way that I view this class is that it's a time in the morning to connect to yourself, practice a little mindfulness, connect to your body, get some movement in and start your day on a really positive note. So I'd love for you to find an easy seat like I have. You can cross your legs, or maybe it feels more comfortable to have your legs out long. If you have yoga blocks, maybe you're seated on a yoga block. And then as you start to get comfy cozy, you may shut down your eyes, or soften your gaze towards the floor to avoid any distractions. You can rest your hands on your knees. You can place your palms down if you need a little grounding this morning. You can place your palms up if you'd like to receive some energy. Or you can do one of each. Sometimes I like to do that. Balance. And as you're here, start to settle in. Find your breath. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And on your next exhale, exhale all the air out of your lungs. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out the lungs. Inhale, filling up from your belly. Fill up your lungs. Feel your chest expand, and then audible exhale out of your mouth. Nice. Do one more round of that breath as I explain the next breath that we're going to take. So we're going to do box breathing. We're going to inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. So let's do that together. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold your breath for four. Three, two, one, let it go for four. Three, two, one, hold again for three, two, one, inhale for three, two, one, hold it for three, two, one, let it go for three, two, one, hold for three, two, one last time, inhale four, three, two, one, hold four, three, two, one, let it go four, three, two, one, hold again four, three, two, one. Nice job. Start to return to your normal breath, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. My thought for today is inspired by Leo season. If you follow astrology, Leo season started on the 23rd. And this Leo season, I think it's important to remind yourself that you matter and that you allow yourself to be appreciated and admired for everything that you do, your unique gifts and talents, and the way that you show up in the world. So I'd love for you to take a moment and think about one to three things that you appreciate about yourself. It could be your commitment, your resilience, your courage, your tenacity, your kindness, your ability to be, to be present with others, your calm demeanor, whatever you, you think makes you unique 
and that you really appreciate about yourself. I am strong. I am confident. I am brave. I am resilient. I'm at peace. And start to say those affirmations that apply to you in your head, whatever those one to three qualities are. And just repeat them a few times in your mind's eye. And once you feel the love and admiration and appreciation for yourself, you can start to invite some movement into your body. You may rub your thumb across each finger pad and then wiggle your fingers, crunch it out like you're squeezing a ball. You may move your neck from side to side. You may take some neck circles, bringing chin to chest right ear, right shoulder, sending your gaze to the ceiling, left ear, left shoulder, chin to chest, and switch it out, left ear, left shoulder, send your gaze to the ceiling, right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest. You may start to wake up your shoulders, rolling your shoulders back, rolling your shoulders forward, Bringing your shoulders up by your ears, letting it go. Maybe you do that one more time. Bring your shoulders up by your ears, let it go. Take a few seated cat cows. For seated cow, send your gaze to the ceiling, shoulders go down and back. For seated cat, press through your knees, jump through your spine, tuck your chin into your chest. Seated cow, send your gaze towards the ceiling, shoulders down and back. Seated cat, chin to chest, press through your knees. Nice. You may take a few more of those, or it might feel good to take a few twists, bringing your left hand to your right knee, right hand back behind you, and open up the chest. You may take that twist on the other side, right hand, left knee, left hand behind you, and open up your chest. One more round of breath, twist, or to cat cow, and then meet me back to its center. Nice, y'all. We're going to eagle wrap our arms, so bring your left hand out in front of you. Bring your right hand underneath so that your elbow, your Left elbow is crooked inside of your right elbow, and then palms will touch. You may stay here upright, or you may take a big inhale, and on your exhale, you may fold. Take two breaths here, either upright or folded. One more breath. On your next inhale, come back up and then switch out the arms. So right arm is going to come in front of your face. Left arm is going to come underneath, palms touch. You may stay upright here or you might inhale and exhale, fold over. Two rounds of breath wherever you are. Beautiful. On your inhale, come back up. Undo the arms. You may wiggle it out. Roll your shoulders. Whatever feels good. Maybe you shake it out. Always feels nice in my body. And then when you're ready, you're going to send your legs out long in front of you. I'm going to come sideways so that you can see the full situation and not just like half of my body, but you can stay as you are. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, staff pose. Exhale, fold, reach your fingertips towards your toes. You may keep a slight bend in your knees, or you may start to straighten out the legs. You just may reach for the toes. You may grab the outside edges of the feet. Maybe you bring your forehead a little bit closer to your knees, belly button closer to your thighs. 
two rounds of breath here. On your next inhale, rise back up. Plant your hands behind your hips. Bring your right foot across your left leg, your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Open up the chest. You may look straight ahead or you may start to send your gaze towards the back wall. One more breath here. Sweep your left arm back behind you. Bring your right leg to meet the left, and then we'll switch it out. Bring your left foot across your right leg, right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Open up the chest. You may look straight ahead, or you may start to send your gaze towards the back wall. One more breath here. On your inhale, sweep your right hand back behind you. Left leg meets the right. You might want to shift your booty forwards a little bit to help you lower all the way down onto your back. Let your head come down onto the mat. Take one recovery breath here. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Nice. And then as you're ready, send your legs up a wall. Nice. Plant the bottoms of your feet onto the ceiling. Hands can be by your side, wherever feels most comfortable to you. Nice. This may be exactly where you stay. If you have a yoga block, you may place it underneath the hip. We're just going to sit here for a few rounds of breath. This is really lovely for your lymphatic system. You're shifting the blood flow the opposite way. A few more rounds of breath here. If it is not very comfortable, you can also move to a wall and physically put your legs up a wall. But if this feels nice, two more rounds of breath. Nice. On your exhale, lower the feet down, plant them on the mat to keep a bend in your knees. Perfect. You might windshield wiper your knees from side to side to give your low back a little relief. And then hug your knees into your chest, coming into a happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet. Bring the elbows to the inside of the knees. You may rock from side to side. Giving your low back a little massage. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of your feet to touch for a reclined butterfly and lower the feet down onto the mat. If you have yoga blocks at home, you may place one under your left knee, one under your right knee. If not, just let the legs be open. We're here for two rounds of breath. Remembering those one, two, or three qualities that you admire and appreciate about yourself. Allowing your body to fill up with that admiration and appreciation. On your next breath, plant your feet down onto the mat for constructive rest. Bring your knees and your thighs in together to touch. And then bring your feet to the outside edges of your mat. Just let your legs fall into each other for a few rounds of breath. Nice. 
Start to crawl your feet back down onto the mat for supine figure four. Bring your right ankle across your left knee. Check in with your right hip. This might feel good. Or you may want to interlace your fingertips behind your left thigh and lift the left foot up off the mat. If you're looking for a little bit extra, you can start to straighten out the leg. Bring the hands to the leg. Two breaths wherever you are. Nice. If you took a variation with your hands on the left leg, you can remove it. Plant the left foot down on the mat. And then take a little twist. Start to bring your right foot down towards the mat. You can tee out your arms. You can goal post your arms. You can look straight ahead or you can look over your right shoulder. On your next inhale, come back to the supine figure four legs. Perfect. And then we'll switch it out. Plant your right foot down on the mat. Bring your left ankle across your right knee. And then maybe this feels good in the left hip. It might feel different on this side than the other side. Maybe you are looking for extra. So you interlace your fingertips behind your right thigh and lift your right foot. Maybe you're looking to spice it up one more level and you straighten out the right leg, reach your hands towards your right shin, your right calf. If you are taking this variation, it's important to keep your head and your back rounded down onto the mat. Nice. If you took this variation, you can remove your hands from the right leg, plant your right foot down onto the mat. And then we'll take that counter stretch, bringing your left foot across the body over to the right side. Again, you can tee out or goal post your arms. You can look straight ahead or look over your left shoulder, your left fingertips. Nice. On your next inhale, lift the legs back up to come back to the supine figure four, and then plant your left foot down onto the mat. Start to bring your heels a little bit closer to your glutes. Fingertips can reach towards your heels, setting up for a bridge pose. Lift your hips to the sky, press through your shoulders. It might feel nice to interlace your hands under your low back to press through your shoulders a little deeper. Again, if you have a yoga block, maybe you take a supported bridge, placing a block underneath the low back. Try to gaze towards the ceiling to avoid tucking your chin in all the way. One more breath here. On your exhale, return the hips back down onto the mat. You can windshield wiper your knees from side to side to reset a little bit. My hair is looking a little crazy. Nice, y'all. And then as you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll forwards and backwards the length of your mat to get to a tabletop pose. For tabletop, bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Send the crown of your head to the wall in front of you gaze between your thumbs. Try and keep a flat spine. On your inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, send your gaze to the ceiling. On your exhale, press the mat away from you, dome through your spine, send your gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, cow pose, top of your head and tailbone goes to the sky. Exhale, cat pose, Dome through your spine. Nice. Take a few rounds of these on your own, taking some wrist stretches. Maybe you bring your fingertips towards your knees, or maybe you come onto the backs of your hands. Maybe you take some toe stretches, tucking your toes and sending your hips back forward. Nice, y'all. Maybe you want to relieve some tension so you pound out the tops of your feet. 
maybe you want to make some bigger aids with your hip. Taking whatever organic movement feels good in your body. One more round of cat cow. Nice. Find stillness, flat spine, neutral tabletop. Bring your big toes to touch. Sink your hips down and back. Knees can come the width of your mat. Arms can rest out long in front of you. Forehead can rest on your mat. Child's pose. We're here for a few rounds of breath. One more round of breath. As you're ready, come back into a neutral tabletop. Bring your knees back underneath your shoulders. On your inhale, sweep your right arm to the sky. Take a few windmills going forward. Well, I just went backwards, but <laughs> the opposite direction. So, and backwards if you went forwards, or forwards if you went backwards. And then plant the hand back down. Take that on the other side. Inhale your left arm to the sky. Take a few windmills actually forwards and backwards. Nice. Plant your hand back down onto the mat. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog, send your hips to the sky. You can start to pedal out your dog, gaze between your legs or towards your navel, press through your hands. This is really nice to kind of wake up the body. It's okay if you hear a little cracking. Nice. And then when you're ready, we're just going to come back down to tabletop pose. And then cross your knees. You can come back down to – cross your ankles, not your knees. Come back down to an easy seat. I'm going to face you again. Um, but you can stay wherever you are facing. And we're going to start to close out our practice together. I hope you're feeling a little bit more awake, like your body is a little bit more nourished after some gentle and restorative movement. And just start to find that easy seat again. Eyes may be closed or your gaze may be soft to the floor. You can rest your hands on your knees. Start to find your breath again, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. On your next exhale, exhale all the air out of your lungs. On your inhale, fill up from your belly, fill up your lungs, feel your rib cage expand. And then audible exhale out of your mouth. Inhale, fill up from your belly. Fill up your lungs. Allow the chest to expand. And then let it go. One more just like that. Inhale, fill up belly. Lungs. Maybe you take one more sip of air. And then sigh it out. Nice. This time we're going to inhale for a count of four, three, two, one. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Let it go for four, three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, 
two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, last time together, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, let it go, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one. Nice, y'all. Return to your normal breath. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. So we started our practice this morning, setting this intention of thinking about what we admire and appreciate about ourselves. And I'm not sure what three qualities or traits that you chose, but I would like to end our time together with some affirmations that may resonate with you to guide you through the rest of your day, the rest of your week, continuing to focus on that positivity, that self-love, and that reminder that you matter and that you have unique gifts and talents that deserve to be appreciated by not only yourself, but by others. I am strong and resilient. I am brave. It is okay to show up authentically myself. I appreciate my unique gifts and talents. I am calm and at peace. I trust myself and my intuition. I know that I can accomplish anything that I set out to achieve. I am kind and compassionate. Thank you so much for joining me in practice in this mindful movement this morning. It is my honor to guide you through this flow virtually. We bow and say namaste. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm so excited to be a part of the Yoga Lifestyle community and have this mindful movement practice with you every Thursday morning at 7.30 live or recorded. I also do a little Ask a Nutritionist live from 8.30 to 9 on Thursday morning. So if you have any questions about any of the recorded videos that I've posted so far, would love to help answer them for you. Again, my name is Kathleen, and I'm so grateful to share this time and space with you. Have a great day.